You may have noticed colorful wooden boxes have popped up in Leesville and other places around Vernon Parish. Well, I checked them out over the weekend. They're little lending libraries, but the story behind them is better than any book you'll find inside. Tony McDonald, coordinator for Gallery 111 in Leesville, says brainstorming for the Vernon Parish Book Nook project started about a year and a half ago. These little free libraries are scattered across the globe. They're stocked with a handful of donated books for local residents to borrow and return. We already have had people say they were going to make geocache locations at the Book Nooks. We've had people say, I'm going to set a Pokemon lure at the Book Nooks. We've got people that want to do things centered around these. So. It's been a real grassroots swelling of involvement, and once we put them out, they belong to the community. Michelle Mitchell, a former teacher, fell in love with the idea. The project is a way to honor the life of her late husband, Judge James Jim Mitchell of the 30th Judicial District. Mitchell says her husband was an avid reader. He read books all the time, and he also inspired children to read and to just be the best that they could be, and he always thought when you could read, you could do anything. Now, 20 book nooks decorated by local artists are sprinkled throughout Vernon Parish, including 10 along 3rd Street in downtown Leesville. When you walk to all 10 of them, you've walked two miles. Each library is meant to bring communities together by encouraging reading and creativity. What you have is a group of people that are reading, learning, and transmitting literature are through the community on many different levels. It's not just for kids. Reading is wonderful and having a good education is vitally important, but to be creative, that opens up doors to so many avenues. And for Mitchell, these splashes of color, a tribute to the man she loved. If he's looking down, he would be so very proud that this is happening, not just for the children in this community, but for everyone in this community. And private donors like Mitchell brought the book nooks to life, and soon they'll be popping up in other Vernon Parish communities. There's even an app in the making. For more information on these little libraries, head to our website, KLB.com. So it's not just kids' books, it's grown-up books, too. Any kind of books that you want to put in there. I have a few. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should try. All right, thank you.